Thank you for tuning in to Spotlight Growth Live. I'm Leah. Global Digital Solutions is a Florida-based security and technology solutions company. In early March 2019, the company announced it had completed the acquisition of Harm Alarm, a company with a patented aviation technology that assists with optimizing the landing trajectory of an aircraft during hazardous weather conditions. Joining us today to speak further on Global Digital Solutions is Chairman and Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Bill Delgado. Thank you for coming on the show today. Thank you, Leah. Thanks for having me. Commercial air travel safety has been a major topic in recent weeks as a result of the horrific Ethiopian Airlines crash and the questions surrounding the 737 MAX aircraft. Can you touch further on Harm Alarm's potential role in the future of commercial aviation safety? Uh, I think those, the crash, the Ethiopian crash and the Lion Air crash really show the amount of technology um, and, and how it relates to safety in, in aviation today. And so there's continuous, continuous things that are being done to improve safety and that's being done basically through technology. And obviously you can see if something goes wrong, the, the, the catastrophic effects. The great thing about Harm Alarm and Gary Ball, our, who runs our division, is that Gary's been in the business for you know 35 plus years. He's an infrared engineer. He's already developed technology that's in place right now called EDS that's, that's on Gulfstream jets. And our new system called PALS is going to revolutionize that technology. Uh, it's about 10% of the cost, which is gonna make it available to a lot more of the general aviation aircraft, and maybe someday it'll make it its way into, you know, the commercial aircraft. The acquisition also created a new subsidiary within the company, GDSI Aviation Solutions, which will be led by Harm Alarm inventor, Gary Ball. Being that you also have an aviation background, do you see further opportunities in the aviation technology industry? Absolutely. Um, Gary is a, an entrepreneur uh, and been in the aviation business for 30 plus years. Um, if you gave it up to him, every day he comes up with five new ideas. My job is to keep him focused on PALS, which is the, the landing system um, that uh, automates the landing process in, in zero, zero type situations. Um, uh, it's called, it stands for pilot assisted landing systems. And, uh, but at the same time, the technology that uh, PALS can be actually uh, overlaps a little bit with what's called controlled descent, which is where a plane begins its descent, which again was one of those things that was the problem on the MAX, uh, the MAX aircraft uh, uh, land, uh, crashes, you know, with Ethiopian and Lion. So is there a, a correlation to all these technologies? Absolutely. Are we going to be looking at these? Um, absolutely. Um, but again, right now we're focused on PALS and deployment of PALS. Global Digital Solutions' suit against Ronton still awaits a judicial ruling on the motion to dismiss and opposition filings. Are you able to provide any further details about the overall case or its importance to the company's future? This one decision or this case is, is um, so critical to the shareholders of this company. The, the shareholders you know, almost uh, three and a half years ago, initiated uh, we initiated a contract to purchase Rontan and spent several million dollars in the process. Um, professional representation by Ernst and Young, um, very you know, um, very good legal counsel. Um, what's happened is, is I can't really elaborate more than what we have out there, but we're very very happy with our, our legal team, which you know is one of the if not the best in the United States, is one of the best. They represent several high profile clients and cases. Um, Boy Shell Flexner is the name of the firm, and, and uh, Bill Isaacson and Carl Sires are the lead attorneys on this. Um, the, the, the document that we laid out back in, at the end of uh, January was, was probably one of the best legal documents that I've seen in, in my 40 year business career. Very hopeful that the judge is going to see it our way. Um, obviously there could be no, you know, we don't know until the judge hat, you know, makes his decision. He's had it for 10 weeks. 
Um, this decision is um, why it's taken so long, I believe, is this is going to be around for a long time, this decision. It's international business law. I'm sure it will be cited many, many times over the many years probably past the time I'm here and, and the judge is actually around too. So that's why it's so critical. But if it does come down and it is in our favor, um, I believe that we are in a very, very strong position um, moving forward. And that's really about all I can say. But you can follow the, the filings are on PACER. Um, if you have a PACER subscription, you can follow that. But uh, we're very, very happy with where we're at right now. Thank you very much for your time again, Bill. It was a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you, Leah. Um, you know, anytime you need, uh, you know, uh, I'd love to, uh, I'd love to talk about the company, and I do appreciate taking the time today. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching Spotlight Growth Live. Be sure to visit us at spotlightgrowth.com and follow us on social media.